Hey, it's Ramiro with Carhaven, uh, European specialist here in Connecticut, North Brantford. Today we have uh, another Mini Cooper with a tiny chain. Um, essentially every one built from 2008 to 2013 or so, that's generation two, in the hatchback model, the R56, uh, with engines, coats N12, 14, 16, 18, and 12 with a non turbocharged 14 is a turbo. 16 is a newer generation, non turbo, and 18 is a turbocharged engine. All of them have uh, timing chain issues. So, uh, why? There's many theories, design issues. They were like not given proper maintenance per mini recommendation. They were supposed to have oil changes every 10,000 miles. That's crazy long. It should be 5,000 miles, six months, as you guys know. Uh, bottom line, at, at about 70,000 miles or so, timing chains have to be typically replaced. We've done hundreds of these jobs. We use uh, an updated kit um, with a new, better timing chain, new guides, no tension, no rollers, the whole thing. So I want to show you what that job looks like. Um, it's very important to do that uh, before they jump timing. There's a very um, clear telltale sign that a timing chain is going bad, and that's called the rattle of death or the rattle. You'll hear what that sounds like in this engine when we, uh, when we show it to you. So uh, let's get to work. Hey Renee, now that we have the car running a little bit longer, we are hearing the timing chain rattling. We're setting it the timing chain, putting it in the right torque and angle. Okay, now the timing chain is done. You can see the new guides, brand new timing chain, sprockets in place, everything's adjusted, and we're gonna start to put it back together. New valve cover gasket always, and then the valve cover should be all set. So that is what the engine should sound like. There's no rattling noise, a little bit of a engine noise, obviously normal, but nothing uh, like what it was uh, sounding before as you can hear. Timing chain is right there. 